Thank you so much, Mr. Chair. Um, I feel I would be remiss in not responding on this, uh, never mind as a delegate as well from a territory that Congress has an obligation to, but as a mother of five children, some of whom have gone to public schools and some who have gone to schools here in the District of Columbia. Uh, I think it is very interesting that we talk about choice for some, but we do not open up choice for all students. And that is an issue that I think our delegate, uh, Eleanor Holmes Norton, the Congresswoman from the District of Columbia, would probably know better than anybody, anybody in this committee, because she has represented these people of the District of Columbia and done it so in a profound way and has spoken with the District Council, who are elected by the residents of the District of Columbia, and they have spoken as to what they want. And I think it is really uh, improper for this Congress to override the wishes, once again, of the people of the District of Columbia. And when those on this dais talk about the responsibility, and indeed it is an obligation of Congress to the District of Columbia, as well as to the other territories, we only pick and choose which obligations we want to take on. And we have decided that voucher programming is one that will benefit some of us in terms of how we bring it back to our own districts and talk about what we stand for. But we completely abdicate our responsibility to the people of the District of Columbia and the rest of the territories in other areas. Let's talk about funding for Ward 8. Let's talk about funding for Ward 7. We don't want to do that, but we want to talk about voucher programs and spend an inordinate amount of time trying to find funding for something that the people, the greater, the majority of the people have said they don't want. Now, if some are in favor of vouchers, I think if we are going to do that, we have to expand the pot of money for those ch children and their families who are not going to be able to have the choice of going to a voucher system. I think that would be the fair and equitable thing and the responsible obligation of this Congress to those people. I, I yield the balance of my time. Thank the gentleman.